I don't know why, but I feel like this light make me feel like, first of all, main character. Second of all, I got my gimbal. I got my car warming up. We're about to go to the gym because I don't want to miss a day. Still uh, trying to figure out this gimbal. It's tracking me right now, so hopefully it's doing a good job of that. I just kind of wanted to show my, uh, this is real bad right now because I usually only wear my gym shoes in the gym. Like I usually keep these in my gym bag and I only wear them in the gym. And I'll even take one of the cleaning uh, towels and I'll like wipe the soles down. But I definitely wore these around yesterday because I left my slides in the car. So then that was a big thing. But these are my gym shoes. So I'll put them on real quick. Um, so yeah, I got the car warming up. I actually don't even know what I'm, I actually don't even know what I'm hitting today because um, my elbow, I was rehabbing my elbow earlier. I was doing these things where I, I was like, I was on the edge of my couch and I had the weight in my hand and I was like doing these, what are these called? Wrist extensions, wrist curls. So I'm going to just keep trying to rehab this elbow to strengthen up that forearm. So we'll see when I get there. But yeah, let me, how do I look? I wish it could. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Y'all see the, it ain't going to show the shoes. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. I got my little ring light on my phone camera too, so I think I like this little setup right here. I feel like, I feel like a tech dude. This is oh my god, I'm so embarrassing, y'all. I look like a motherfucking what? This ring light is so bright, and I'm in the dead ass outside. If I turn my lights on, it's a little better. But I'm gonna look into a uh, some type of car mount that I can mount this thing onto. Like I don't want, I want it to be on a gimbal still. Um, this is not a good angle. Oh, I can raise this up. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look into some type of mount I can put on there. But uh, <clears throat> I'm about to put on some. I'm about to put on that new twenty one. I don't know why, but I feel like this light make me feel like, first of all, main character. Second of all, I feel like people looking at me. Oh, God, I'm paranoid. Hey, man, it's CJ. I can still see they spears. Y'all heard that new 21? Listen. All right, so my favorite song. Def my favorite song is definitely All of Me. Like, love how, like, theatrical it sounds like it sounds it's obviously very well produced um like when I first listened to it this probably me too anytime I hear a new album for the first time I feel like I never like it. it's very rare that I like I'm like oh shit this is nice like I listened to it the first time and I feel like I listened to the whole album through and I feel like I just kind of sat there like okay okay but then I listened to it in the car and I just let it ride. And I mean, just the whole body of work. It's just, I, it just sounds so cinematic to me, like theatrical. And this song, All of Me, and uh, shit, whatever this song is with Doja Cat, Letter to My Brother, Brother, the Summer Walker one. You are the love of my life. What sample is that? And obviously I can't just be playing the song on my YouTube video. I got, hold on, hold on. Let me look up real quick what sample that is. 21 Savage. Prove it sample. It's an interlude. Hold on, let's hear that. And it's cold. Faith Evans, you are my joy, and it's an interlude. This, my man sampled an interlude. I just feel like I'd be feeling, I'd be feeling him like, 
Like, I know he's like all like slaughter gang, slaughter gang, but like, it's almost like you, he had to turn into that because he was so, his heart was too big that he like is forcing himself to be slaughter gang. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to be like this, I shoot you, you know? He's, it just feels like he's forced to be that because people just be fucking him over. Or he just, he does just went through hella shit. Like, I feel like he really is a good, kind person. And that's the people that are actually very dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, as far as you fuck me over, so now it's fuck you. But, like, Baby, Gotti, 21 Savage, probably a couple of my favorite rappers. It's like, when they, when I, I'm such a fan, because, like, when they, when, what they say, like, I believe you. Like, that's why I'm not really a big fan of, like, uh, Migos or Future because I just don't even like I just don't believe you like I don't believe you and if I if I can't if you can't suspend my belief that's like when you go to a movie right like you're suspending your belief for like those two hours while you're watching that movie or you're in a play or like you're suspending belief for a minute and you're just it's entertainment you're you're playing along with that narrative and for me, like Migos and Future, like I can't be, a f I can't listen to your music because I just don't believe you and I don't believe in you. But like Twenty One, like this album is just like an embodiment of like he's really like that. So, anyways, all right, let me go to the gym. I'm feeling really good right now, like energy wise. I'm trying to think, anytime I'm feeling good, like I'm feeling right now, like it's eleven o'clock at night. I have a lot of energy, and I didn't have. Um, I did have a late coffee. That might be what it is, but it wasn't too late. It was like a midday coffee and I didn't have a morning coffee. I literally pushed it back until midday. So I might have to do that going forward. But anytime I'm feeling good, I try to backtrack my, my day to figure out what could it be that's, that's causing this positive outcome. Um, so I could try to repeat it obviously. Right. <sighs> Look. Oh. I'm oh shit. Oh. Okay, so this band is ripping. That was 20. So one of my benchmarks is how many push-ups I can do in one minute. And um I'm going off the the military test to be able to do at my age to be able to do 14 push-ups in one minute right now mind you these are real push-ups these are banded push-ups so they're assisted um which i fucking love these because i can't do too many regular push-ups like i can probably do two or three so one of my benchmarks is to be able to pass that military test uh just for myself personally 14 push-ups in one minute <clears throat> so that is my benchmark so obviously with this assisted with this assisted band as i get better and better i'll lower the band you know through my progression i'll lower the band which is going to give me less and less assistance until i go to no band and then but for now this is really helping me build those muscles um in the shoulders in the in the lats biceps and I was able to do 20 with this. That's where I'm at right now. So that's like the beginning of my progression, I guess you could say. Um, that's something I'll be working on. As long as my shoulders feeling pretty good, I'll be doing this. Um, and we'll see how far I can progress this year with this exercise. But now that I did one, one round of that, I'm gonna do a little shoulder mobility real quick and, and just make sure. I'm gonna do probably three sets of this but anyways, so now that I did that, I'm feeling good. I'm going to uh, do some shoulder stability and mobility stuff. And then I'll do my second and third set. Should I bend my toes to do a good push up? You want to lean down and you want to do those natural motions. So you want to get on the floor as far as where your hands should be. And you kind of want to just do this, tuck your shoulders back, and then wherever they naturally land down. So, all right. One, two. Three, four, nine, six, seven, eight. Holy fuck, I haven't done these in a while. Nine, six, 
ません。因为 twelve fuck I'm fatigued already, and also trying to keep my butt up right, not rely too much on the bed. Shit, how many was that? I don't even remember. Fourteen. Oh fuck. Fifteen. Sixty. Seventy. Oh shit. Eighteen. Oh, my stomach's dipping. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh shit. Okay, I did twenty. But to my credit, I did lower the notches down to. I lowered the band down two notches. Holy shit. I'm gonna probably give myself a two minute break and then uh, go go on the six minute mark. So it's 4.40 right now. I'm gonna take a, I really like these banded push-ups. I wonder how it looks on camera. Cause obviously you don't want to, um, I wanna definitely try to, you know, hold my core up while I'm doing this. I mean, that's, that's muscular endurance right there, those push-ups. Cause when I lowered, I lowered that, that second round after and doing a little shoulder mobility, my, my muscles are just straight fatigued. I got 30 seconds. I'm going to, I'm going to completely crash out on this set. I know it. I got 20 seconds. I'm not even ready. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, shit. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, shit. Thirty seconds. Oh, fuck. 12. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. 13. 14. 15. Ah, my elbow. Ah. 18. Ah. 16. I'm tapping out. This is my last set. This is the set that's gonna... This is like, to me, I'm wore out, I'm tired, I'm fatigued. This is the set that counts. You know what I mean? Like, this is where change happens. And I'm not prepared. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh my God. All right, come on. Don't be, don't be a soccer. Come on. Seven. Eight. Okay. That was it. That was it. I don't fucking feel like doing these, but I'm going to do them. I only got 60, 67. I got 80 pounds on here, which is a pretty medium weight for me, honest. I usually do like 100, 90 to 100 to 110. Um, 67. I only got 80 pounds on here right now, so I should be able to just knock these out. But yeah, I'm gonna knock these out, and then I'm fucking going home, making me a protein shake, and hopping on Warzone. I got something to tell y'all after this first set during my rest. I think what I'm gonna start doing is, damn, not audiobooks, probably podcasts. I gotta start saving my pod. I only listen to a few podcasts. Um, I gotta start saving my podcasts for the gym because. So this is the deal, right? There's background music on, and I'm not gonna put on uh, my own music unless I have my noise canceling headphones, which are my Beats, which I use for gaming right now. 
But when there's, you know, the gym plays, you know, we play our own music in here. So when there's loud music on in the background, I'm not going to try to compete with my own music. You know, it just doesn't even, I just don't like that. Right. So what I do is I usually put a podcast on or a YouTube, like a podcast, basically. Um, but what I do is I be sticking around and, and listening to my podcast at home. Then I come to the gym and the, the podcasts actually do motivate me because they'd be funny, entertaining. You know, they kind of just keep me engaged. And then with the background music, you know, at school, right? I mean, we play good music here at the gym. It's going to also help me with my motivation at the gym too, because I know if I can't listen to my podcast, especially the the funny ones or like the ones I really enjoy. Like, um, also I need some podcast recommendations very much like stick with my comfort ones and I don't really know any um, new podcasts. So please give me some recommendations. I like kind of funny podcasts. Um, my favorite podcast uh, is Higher Learning. Fan Lifting is hilarious. And I love me some Rachel. Um, and the Joe Budden podcast is good. And I was thinking about um, if it's if it's a good audio book, I would do it too. But if it's too, in, you know, intellectual or like something that I feel like I need to um, really focus. But yeah, some of, some of my books I could probably listen to while I'm working out. So, and like I said, this is with the background gym music going on in the background so and also filming right so a lot going on but yeah that's what i wanted to tell you okay so it's 11 38 right now it's damn near midnight in here all right two more sets what did i do 12 i also love my setup that i have going on right now let me take a video for y'all because my camera is sitting right here and it's so inconspicuous i didn't bring my tripod today i just brought my magnet you see that Ain't conspicuous as fuck. Like, it just blends right in with the machine. Y'all see the vans? I bought the wide fit. It would be crazy to come to the... I love how I just keep, like, grabbing me. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, anyways. See, I'm... Okay, see? I'm talking to y'all, and I'm ticking around. Let me just knock these last two sets out. Nice. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15. I did, I did 16 that time with the, with the pumps at the end, you know what I mean? The pumps get it, baby. One more set. I'm so analog, and I'm doing a lot of talking right now, and I realize that with the music in the background. This is probably gonna have to be very choppy because can only let like a couple seconds of the song play at a time to not get um you know copyrighted or whatever but oh like how i'm so like analog i love writing shit down like manually like i have an app on i have i've downloaded like three or four different apps and i've tried them but for some reason i just can't um stick to digitally recording my workouts <laughs> i mean i guess i can't stick to analog Gilly recording my workouts either, so I'll have to revisit that. I'll be talking to y'all to get out of doing my set. Okay, here we go. Oh, my cheeks is pumping. Now, see, okay, so look, if I was really about it, I would go, I would go, um, because I have to walk back over to the turf anyways to get my gym bag. I might do some lat finish this off with some lateral band walks and just do like a fucking crusher. At least, you know, boom, boom, boom. At least two. Two laps, right? I gotta do at least two laps. I gotta walk over there anyway, so I might as well do my lateral band walk, so I'll do that. <laughs> oh, sh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh. Alright. Let's go do these. Fucking bad walks and get the fuck out of here. I got a... I got a war zone date in 20 minutes.